Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Israel Brief brought to you by Lay on the Land. I'm your host, Raleigh Marks, and I want to take a moment, because it's Thanksgiving in the United States, to wish all of our American readers and viewers a very, very happy Thanksgiving from all of us here at the Israel Brief and Lay of the Land. And also just to say we are grateful for you, our readers and viewers around the world. Yes, we are read and viewed in over 150 countries. We thank you for your continued support and interaction. We love to interact with you. And today is quite a rare day. All three of our top stories are pretty positive. So let's get right to them. It was announced about an hour ago that Germany is set to join countries like the Netherlands and uh, the United States, the Gulf Cooperation States and various others in designating Hezbollah as a terrorist organization. Now next week in a conference, Germany will formalize this and install a total ban on Hezbollah and their supporters. Some very, very welcome news indeed. And while we are talking about organizations that support terror, today Nir Barkat, a Likud member of Knesset, he was also the former mayor of Jerusalem, put forward a resolution in the Knesset to ban all the operations of UNRWA, that's the United Nations Relief Works Agency. And the reason for this is pretty simple. UNRWA is accused uh, by many of perpetuating conflict in the region between Israel and her Palestinian neighbors. In fact, UNRWA's mandate is basically to perpetuate refugee status for the Palestinians. And it is felt that because uh, many of their school textbooks con uh, contain incitement against Israelis, and in times of conflagration, like during Operation Cast Lead, the schools and hospitals have been used to uh, hide weapons. And also the scandal with regards to the head of UNRWA, Pierre Krahunbul, who has since resigned because of allegations of uh, harassment, nepotism and corruption. Uh, the proposed bill has put forward that you know, money that has been given to UNRWA could best go to the UNHRC, which is the UN High Commission for Refugees, uh, to help refugees all around the world. And uh, by keeping Palestinians in perpetual refugee status, this doesn't help bring an end to the conflict and uh, hopefully give uh, Palestinians some kind of hope instead of continued incitement. So the bill will go to the Knesset and uh, hopefully it will be voted in. And in other good news, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo is off to Morocco next week. He will meet with King Mohammed in the capital, Rabat, to discuss, amongst many things, how to improve uh, regional cooperation and also, very importantly, uh, the normalization of ties, formal ties, between Morocco and Israel. And uh, over the last year or so, we've seen a warming of ties between Israel and various Gulf states. Uh, just today, there was a, a, an article by a Saudi journalist who says that uh, since he's visited the state of Israel, he's really fallen in love with the country, with the Jewish people, and he aims to push for the normalization of ties. We've seen it in Bahrain with uh, a, a little bit of outreach towards Israelis. Israelis were uh, present at the Manama conference earlier this year. Uh, we've heard from the United Arab Emirates who've said that uh, next year at the, um, the Expo 2020, they would welcome Israeli visitors and they hope that Israeli visitors or people who hold Israeli passports will continue to visit the Gulf state long after the Expo has concluded. So it looks like ties between Israel and a number of Arab states are starting to really, really thaw and warm up and that's great news and uh, while it's thanksgiving and we're talking about gratitude we're grateful for that we're also grateful that it is uh, the weekend another shabbat is upon us and if you're looking for something to do this weekend you can check out our content online at layoftheland.online that's www.layoftheland.online you can read bev goldman's article about 16 days 
of activism. This is to try and raise awareness of gender-based violence and to put an end to this horrible scourge of society. And she highlights what several organizations like the Union of Jewish Women, like WITSA, the Women's International Zionist Organization, are doing to combat violence against women. You can also check out our Facebook page. Uh, it's at Little Sight. It looks a little something like this. And while you're there, like us, follow us, invite your friends to. Uh, we also go to a different place around the country every Shabbat. So check in with us tomorrow. And hey, drop us a Shabbat Shalom message. We love to hear from you. And uh, don't forget that we are on YouTube as well at The Israel Brief. Yes, uh, you can click on the subscribe button and it will notify you Monday to Thursday every time we post uh, an edition of The Israel Brief so that you can bring the news fresh from Israel out to your friends. And uh, let's get Israel's side of the story out there. So I'm really Marks, wishing you all a wonderful and restful weekend. Shabbat Shalom from all of us at the Israel Brief, and we'll chat again next week.